Hello and welcome. My name is Jack. I'm here with Anderson's Music today, checking out the Nord Electro 5D that the nice people from Nord have let us have today. Uh, I'm just going to dive straight in. First things first, I'm looking at it and we've got a lovely big screen in the middle. Hopefully we can pick it up on that camera. That's one of the big changes over from the 4D. Actually the last one they released was the Nord Electro 4 HP and um, that was with the weighted keyboards. You can still get that. You can get this. This is 73 with the waterfall key bed which has been around for a while and uh, love it. We've also got a uh, 61 and both of these will have the physical draw bars. The um, 76 note HP version that won't have um, the draw bars. It'll have the LEDs like it does on the stage. Anyway, that's a bit about the keyboard. Really quickly as well, anyone who's had an electro before was used to having an F to F on um, the 61 and the 73 note scale. This one's E to E, which I'm a really big fan. Subtle change, but if anyone's like me um, who plays a lot with guitar players who don't want to play Superstition in E flat or all the other function tunes, play that funky music, I digress. But they're going to be great because you've got this E there now. So one note lower. Um, got the screen, I'm looking at it, camera's got it, grand strings, let's play it, let's see what happens. Actually, there, I've just had a fiddle with a balance knob, but I'm going to give it its fair whack. This is how it'll sound, it's called grand strings. Mm, nice playing jet. Now, Already, I that's cool, it's showing off the fact that we've got a really new feature, which is you can split and layer sounds. Unheard of in the Electro range. It was only available in the uh, Nord Piano and the Nord Stage range. Anyway, so we've got it here, grand strings, and hey, to my ears, it's nice down there, but probably a bit much for me up the top. But that's cool, because we've got a part mix right in the middle of the keyboard, it's really simple, you can always have a lower part and an upper part. Um, and we've got a balance control between the two, so let's just knock a bit of that piano, we can take all the strings out. That's there, and I can just sneak in the strings. More subtle. That's. I'm just going to try today to show you like real world things with it. Actually, I see some really good videos that um, the big music shows of the American chap. He's really cool. He's a really nice guy. I love his stomach. It's a uh, it's a proud stomach. Um, one day, oh, I'm well on the way to achieving it. Anyway, I'm going to do real world things. That's a big thing for me, being able to change the balance between the two very quickly. Hey, it's a big thing on the Electro that you can get it in there. So that's there. That was the Italian Grand XL. Now, I'm going to hurry through everything because I waffle on too much. But that is a big innovation. So we've got the extra large version of one of their pianos in there. And the reason why we can have that, and also we've got um, three other Grand piano samples in there. One's a large one, a medium. Well, two large and a medium. What I'm getting at is that we've got all new specs on the memory. This has got a gigabyte just for the pianos. Now, in a world of multi gigabytes and everything, it might not sound a lot, but in Nord World, where you see it on every television show and big stage, and they're fantastic keyboards. They do a lot with a, li with a little amount. And this is the biggest amount of sample memory you've had for pianos in any of their keyboards. The one before this, I think I wrote it down. Let me consult my notes even though I've got it, it's 380 megabytes. So that's a real big jump up, that's just for the pianos. And what that means for you is, if you take advantage of their library that's online, and you want to put in a big piano, uh, like this Italian Grand Extra Large, on the other keyboards you can only fit one in, no other pianos. So it's a really big decision, you'd have to go through and like, that's going to be my piano. But now if you buy this, you could buy it, have a big version, you can have a couple big versions. And um, when I'm talking about the size differences, where you hear it is really clever, Nord. If you get the medium version, what they do is 
medium, extra large, small, they'll all sound the same pretty much in the middle of the keyboard, so they never steal samples from there. But to make the version smaller, they kind of take off um, samples from the extremities of the keyboards. So what that means is that if you're doing a lot of band work and you're staying in the middle, that's cool, rock with a medium or small one, you won't hear much of a change. But if you're doing solo accompaniment work or there's a particular song where maybe you're really low down, you might want to load in an extra large version. That's a little bit on the sizes of piano um, from Nord. That's cool, let's just flick to the second patch, let's keep walking through it. Second sound, walking wheels B. Okay, classic Nord, um, Nord organ, it's from the C2 range. That hasn't changed there, um, but something on the left here has changed. Uh, we've got B3 plus bass setting. Um, so if I just flick this to B3 and see what happens. Okay. I'm really bad with my left hand. So that's a little bit of bass. Now that's using the standard B3. We've got a new one on there, B3 plus bass. So let's see what it sounds like. Cool, so you can hear what that is on the C2D, which was the dual manual, really posh organ. Uh, you could bring in the what you would normally play with your bass on the Hammond, with your feet, you could bring that into the left hand. So guys who are going out in trios and who can actually have a left hand that's of any use, unlike mine, can rock that and you can really hear that punchy difference. As opposed to... Okay, nice. And just a little one, pipe organ. All right. That's in there, that wasn't in there before. Still got Vox, Farfisa, all lovely 60s goodness. So we've got a new bit in the organ. We've touched on, on this first patch, grand strings. We had some magical new things. Let's have a look at it. Patch three. one there's nothing crazy about this but again let's just think about the fact that we've got two parts so we've got a nice rose there but you might want to put a little bit of ambience behind it so let's turn on this second section and I'm just gonna have a little fiddle through here so let's see if they got a pad and this is all really easy on the screen on the old electros we just had I can't tell you if you're not used to it if you You've got one, you'll know, but it was just a number, sometimes two. Um, and have, I was sceptical when I saw it released. I was like, mm, it's the same, just with a screen telling you what you kind of knew already. But honestly, sat in front of it, it makes a massive difference. So let's have a little flick through and see what we can get. Hey, I'm not even going to go for, I'm not even going to go for a pad, I'm going to go for a Nordic whistle. Hear that whistle? That's the whistle on its own. Ooh. Just a little moment. Just between me and you two. It's the best whistle I've heard. I don't think it sounds anything like a whistle. It's the best whistle I've heard in here. Can you whistle? Yeah. Give some. <sighs> Terrible. Anyway. That's the electric piano on its own. And then I can just bring in the whistle. All right. And you might even think, just to touch on how quick and easy it is to change things, bang, let's have a listen to the rose patch. Cool, it's got chorus on it. Not anymore. One button press. Do you want it back on? Chorus. Oh, I missed it. No chorus. Get that? No chorus. Chorus. Just a little bit sexy with the chorus. But again, really simple on Nord. I'll just touch on, if you haven't seen it, 
All the effects are like stomp boxes, so I go, cool, I want tremolo. Bang! Flip the tremolo. And just how much? Bring it in. Good for the end of songs where you're like, uh. Cool, cheers. Round of applause. Come on. Yeah. Good. Stay with me. Effects are great. Um, all of the effects are in stereo. I'm getting a slow clap now. It's mildly frustrating, but I'll plow on. All in stereo. I'm going to talk about the effects whilst we're there. We can now control all the effects in this effect one section with a control pedal. So I've got one plugged in. And you might think, oh, whatever, but it really is a, another big step up from the other electros that were before. In the stage, you can use a function called morphing, which is really cool, and control lots of factors with your foot or any other controller that's on there. But yeah, and also, given the fact there's no pitch bend or modulation, this is really cool. It addresses one of those points. Anyway, tremolo. Got it on here. So uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> Still got my flute, I'm gonna get rid of that. Whistle soon. So pretty throbby. Love a good throb. Now, if I shift and light up the control pedal thing, let's see what happens. You can't really see it, but I swear I'm gonna swell it in. Let's do make it a little bit more pronounced. You can hear that um, coming in. I don't have to be very subtle. Let's lower this down. Anyway, I'm bringing in the tremolo with my foot, and I'm sure you're all thoroughly excited wherever you are. I am excited. I can do that with pan. I can also do it with the wah. You could always do it with the wah, but... Cool. That's just... Um, a little touch on what you can do with the control pedal. Let's roll on to some organisational features. It's just all excitement today. It's just literally from a buffet of excitement. Um, yeah, everyone loves an ex uh, Actually, I like a beige buffet at a wedding and uh, you don't know what's on it. Uh, I've come up with a term, the mystery goujon. I actually had a wedding band called Mystery Goujon. Um, based on the fact that every time I went to weddings, I never knew what the goujon was. Was it chicken? Was it fish? Um, Organisational things. Set list button. Going to hit the set list, and this is brand new. So with this lovely screen, it says set list one, gospel song, going to church. Am I? Yes, with a sound like that. But in that, what, that, what that's done is it's kind of put an umbrella so you've got this set list feature. So your whole gig, set, you write a set list for like anyone. Really easy to understand. Then, first song, gospel song. Now, you may have uh, the intro might be... Um, and then I hit B on here. And then the verse might be... Uh, and then the middle eight might go to a Rhodes and... All in different keys, you know. But that's really good. Not available before. You literally had to change patch every time, but this keeps you within a song, a bit like, you know, guitarists are doing with their pedal boards now with the pedal switches. So, hey, I'm getting to a middle eight and I want to turn on two things, bang, that comes on. So, really good way to organize your sounds. Even, uh, and you, we hit set list, you can hit list and view here, and you can see your whole set list very nicely laid out so you can s jump to different songs it could even you could use it songs it could be just organ patches you could call one like gospel organs and then you have all your gospel organs or you could have like michael mcdonald patches and you've got four michael mcdonald probably you probably want 10 for michael mcdonald patches um, when you're not in set list view it changes to a program view really good would be great on all their other keyboards especially like with how many sounds in so instead of just scrolling, when I come out of that and scrolling through, you know, I really know where I'm heading. So layered 80s, we always want to... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, hang on. You're not going to finish off the line, Tim? Just going to put you in focus. Right, he's put me in focus. Did I, did I melt focus with my rhythm? Played it wrong. Four beliefs for everyone. Um, hang on, let me go out of that. Yeah, late 80s. And that brings me to a really exciting point. We're going to stay in layered 80s. Layered 80s brought to my attention the fact that we've now got EP2 and EP1, EP1 and 2. Now that used to split Rhodes from Wurlitzers, but now in EP1 we've got all our lovely. Rhodes and Wurlitzers in EP1 and EP2 we've got our lovely DX7 sound. Now before you could only use the DX7 sound as a sample in a sample playback. There were a few choices. Um, so that's really handy, especially um, for people, you know, in covering the classic tunes of Yonder Year. So that's um, really cool, really dynamic. Uh, here's the second one, you've only got two in there, but like proper like Kid Charlemagne stuff. Like... Um... Donald Day, and I'm sure there's loads of people that know the songs much better than I do. But I do love him. We got in there just to touch on anyone. Um, church We've got an MKS20 in there. Classic um, gospel patch from the Roland module. So that's nice to see. from the sample playback. Um, because it's in there, I can change the release on it. So say I want to do some fruity stuff, um, I'm taking off, I've still got that sustain. Probably a little bit messy, but I can tighten that up. Simple to range to it to get a short stabby sound. Uh. To a really nice smooth one. We'll say I just want. Um... Oh, so cheese! I love it. Um, so we touched on the fact it's got an E on the bottom. Lovely screen. We can split and layer. I haven't shown you how to split. So we've got part lower, part upper. Let's just go back to our number one patch. That's cool, here we are. Grand strings. Now, if I want to split them, I whack split. There's my piano, and there's my strings. Lovely, if I want to change that, I can go, I can turn this into the piano, and this into the synth, so this should be it. Lovely. So that split really easy if I want to change the split point. Uh, when I hold the split button, lovely, it just says turn the dial. And when I turn the dial, I'll move my big elbows, flicks these lights, just like on the North Stage. And so you can only split on these points. And um, some people get cross about it. I don't get cross about it because it is really nice when you bring up that patch, bang, you've got a visual guide of knowing where it's split and it's really easy to see which part is in the lower and upper uh, not only because 
there above each other on the lovely screen we've got but because you can see it with the lights as well so really nice you can even have one uh, for example you can change the sustain pedal can be controlling the sustain on the bottom one or the lower, so um, I could have a sustain pedal just doing the strings and then I have none on here. Cool, so that's in there. I've got the balance wrong there, that's a bit better. sustain something whilst rocking something else. That's cool. What else did I just see? Big change. We've got these drawbars here, but I don't know if you can see on the screen. When I'm moving the drawbars, we're seeing that represented on our little screen. Very nice and neat. Doesn't take up too much space. Hasn't ruined it. Doesn't feel... I always love with Nord that there were no very minimal screens, but this is a real helpful addition and because when you're changing presets, so let's go to here, walking wheels, these drawbars could be set like this. If I go back again to grand strings, they could be all out. But when I go to walking wheels, I put my expression on my... That is not the sound of all the drawbars out. But I can see very quickly that that's what's going on. Essentially, these aren't motorised. And everyone was like, yeah, who cares, who cares? And then they, they were never motorised. But if you're changing presets, and um, uh, it, it's lovely to see at a glance now what drawbar settings you are. And you can literally, then you can change it, and this is a all, all drawbars out setting. just a little bit of how quick and flexible it is to whiz around that organ. And now what's great, if I go back, it's back to, the, back to that setting, but I know that it's there because I've got a visual representation. Love that. So we've done splits, layers, E on the bottom. Uh, we've got B3 bass, we've done, we've done pipe organ. We've got a DX7 in there. Uh, what else have we got? We've done the control pedal on that. That's all the gubbins. Oh, new new bit in the piano section. Let's see if I can get this ticking over. Uh, I really like... So I can just take those strings out. Cool, so that's the Italian grand. Now that's got string resonance. I've also got string resonance and uh, long release. It really does more than an audible change. You just feel that you've got a little bit more expression going on in the piano. Um, yeah. Let's see who I can play. Do a little bit more play of the patches. This first one, Italian Grand XL. Okay, so that's what it ships with. Let's flick it over. Let's flick it over. This is the Grand Lady D. Take the strings off. Back 
to the first one. Second one. Steinway. Loads of very different character. Just to get that across. This is a Yamaha. Studio Grand. Cool. Uh, bright Grand. This is one. I love this piano. I love um, how bright it is. snappy and bright that is. With the memory in there, hey, we've got a lot more variation than even on my stage, damn it. Uh, really cool. Okay, just a little brief bit if we, um, if it makes it in the video, Tim. Just a quick one on how to, again, I want to get it across how quick and easy it is to edit on here. Um, I'm going to use the list view, this brand new one, and whiz down, and what I love is, because we've got this list view, when I get to the fifth bank, we've got lots of empty programs, which is a lovely place to start for programming. So it starts off with the Italian grand on there. Scrap that, let's make a clav sound, because with this key bed, the waterfall action, a lot of the time customers in the shop were like, um, you know, is it, has it got weight on it? Is it good for pianos? Really, it, I feel that it is the best key bed for the Electro range. Um, it suits the clavinet better, suits the Wurlitzer, Rhodes, the sample playback, and most definitely the organ. Um, so with the piano, you can adjust the keyboard touch. Won't physically change the weight, but the velocity curve. So if you if you want to feel a little bit more robustness when you're playing piano on it, do that. Anyway, we're going to flick to the clav, which is a real pleasure to play uh, with with this keyboard action because it's so light. Okay, so that's the clav on its own. Just when we're changing preset, just show you. I've got the strings. Cool, so back to clav. Um, I'm going to whack what I normally do. This is what I normally do. So I've got a clav, bang. I whack it through a Fender Twin. So I just turn on the speaker. Bit of drive. Cool. Um, got that whack down the octave. Love that. Now, bit of reverb. Oh, sinister. Ah, running out of licks. That bit of dirt, yeah. Bit of wah. I mean, that keyboard action is so light. Sometimes we've got a delay on here. Let's get that going. So you can hear that. Tap tempo to it. Clavinet. So that's how simple I can just whack on all these bits. I can go from crazy. All off. Just a demonstration of how quick it is to edit and uh, make some gnarly sounds.
results. Okay, to summarise the Nord Electro 5D, hopefully you've got a quick representation of the changes, also what that means for people who are using it. I've used them since Nord Electro 2 and uh, I've got a 4D myself. I can definitely see this is a huge upgrade and would allow me to do a lot more gigs with just an, an Electro. Uh, at the moment I combo up with the stage, but this really changes the game. It's a game changer. So, uh, also, I've got a little crib sheet here. Uh, is it a crib sheet? Cheat sheet. I don't know why I said crib sheet. I call it a fact pamphlet. A fact pamphlet. Said very carefully. Just want to run over the bits because this is why you're watching it. Why is it, why is it good? Splits and layers. You can do it. One gig of memory for the pianos. 256 megabytes of memory for the sample library. Big numbers up. OLED display, I just said it was really good. It looks great, but it's OLED. Six split points, pfft, LED. Redesign program section with set list feature, we touched on that. E key range, which is great if you do, you know, I'm really bad in E flat as well, uh, as most keys, but I'm better in E. Sympathetic string resonance, we touched on that. Dedicated sample synth section with the attack relief, do a bit knob fiddling. Physical draw bars with that, yes. B3 base, yes. You can eat, you can put a half moon switch on it, but hey, we all knew that. We all loved that. All effects are now in stereo, as I said. Um, one thing I, I didn't really say it was different. We've got a vibe effect on there, which is cool. Should we hear the vibe just before I go? Just before I go. Sorry, Tim. I know I'm wrapping up. Let's get to here. Let's get that and get a EP on there. Cool. Let's hear what the vibe's like. Pretty out there. Pretty out there. It's a real vibe. I like it. It's a nice. It's a nice addition. Nice to something, something new. And I, I wanted to say this: separate delay and reverb. Before they were tied together. Uh, but now we've got separate control of it, and that's really nice. I love that. I think it's a ruddy, fabulous keyboard. And uh, I urge you to come try it at the shop, or um, if you've got a Nord... Oh, hey, I've got a 4D, and I can totally see why I'd chop that out and get this. Even, because I'm a really, like, I just use it just for the organ, but I'd love to see when I change presets. For me, I'd love to see this little graphic. That is a massive thing. The set list feature, I'm waxing lyrical. And not only am I waxing lyrical, I'm waxing damn plain angry. Because it's been a few years I've been doing these horrendously monotonous videos for you where my hair's been falling out, I've been wearing the wrong things, I've been smoking dope. But not all of that's happened. See what hasn't happened? We've got no demo button. So I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss of what to do. I think that ugh, normally I'd try to do something, but what can I get going on the Electro? I mean, you've really stumped me. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can get um, Chamberlain. Actually, let's pick a sample. Uh, what we go? Uh, what we go for? Celtic Whistle. We had the Nordic one. Let's hear the Celtic one. Lovely, that's cool, but much cooler if I could change the envelope. Game changer, envelope change. Oh. 
Yeah. That's why I need a demo button. That's why I bloody need a demo button. 